G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna to do some yard work. Now, who loves getting outside and helping in the yard? I bet you do. Following along behind Nan or Pop or Mum and Dad or any of the grown-ups really with your very own garden tools. Now, we're gonna focus on some grown-up garden tools. We've got some lawn mowers, we've got a hedger, we've got a lion trimmer or a whippersnipper or as some people call it, a weed eater, and we've also got a blower or a leaf blower. Kids, it's gonna be so much fun, and today we're gonna to get started with some lawn mowing. Let's get stuck in. Today we've got two different types of lawn mowers. They're both Ryobi, they're both bright green and black, and they both look really cool. But there is one main difference between the two. This one here runs on petrol power. This one here is electric or battery power. Now with the electric one, the battery one, that's where it gets its power. So you just plug that into the wall, and once that's full, pop it back in there, and she's good to go. Now there are a few other differences, but all push mowers pretty much have the same parts. So let's have a look at some of those. Now this big black thing here, that's called the deck. And on top of the deck sits the engine. Now when we're mowing the lawn, the deck can go high or low to cut the grass shorter or longer. Now to control that height, over here we have a height adjuster. So if you just push that all the way down, we're gonna cut the grass really short. If you pull it all the way up, we're gonna cut the grass quite long. Then when you're cutting the grass, the blade is under here and it cuts the grass and all the off-cut grass comes into here. This is called the catch. Then when the catch is full, just take it off like that and dump that into the rubbish bin. Now with this electric mower, the way to start it is by pushing this button in and holding this down just like this. Now that that's off, I'm gonna show you underneath the lawnmower. So we flip it on its side. Now remember I said the engine's up here. The engine drives this thing here, and that's the blade. And when it drives it, when it's on, it spins around really, really quick. And when that spins around, it's gonna chomp through that grass and spit it out into the catch. That is the electric mower. Then kids, we have the petrol mower. Now before we start using the petrol mower, we need to make sure it's full of petrol or gas. That's right. And that's kept in here. So we're just gonna unscrew the lid and you can just look in there and I can see that it's got a little bit of petrol, but it's gonna need some more. So lucky, I've got one of these things, which is called a jerry can and that's full of petrol. So you pull this little bit out and just really carefully and usually, this is done by an adult, kids. And you just pour the petrol in, just like that. Okay, so once you've got enough petrol in here, pop that lid back on there. And then always make sure you put this guy back on here and screw it on really tight. All right, there's one more thing you need to check. 
with the petrol lawn mower and that's called the oil. So over here, we have a little oil cap which we can screw off just like that and it's got a little dipstick on the end of it. It's got a H for high and an L for low. And you can see that the level of the oil is sitting on the H. So that's got lots and lots of oil. It's good to go, which means this lawnmower is ready to be used to chomp through some of this grass. Now when we're ready to start the lawnmower, a bit different to the electric one, we're gonna pull this lever down to where it says start. Then you need to use all your strength and you need to pull on this lever here. And that's how you start the petrol mower. When you want to stop it, you see what I just did there? Just pull that back to the stop position. Now, when you're using any of this equipment in the yard to do any of the yard work, you need to make sure that you remember safety first, of course. So, we're gonna put on some safety goggles and some ear protection. And then when you're using the hedger or the whipper snipper, it's also safe to use some gloves. You don't really need them for lawn mowing. But look at this yard, kids. It's looking a bit long. I think I'm ready to cut some grass. So come on, let's start with the electric one. Hey kids, that is the electric or the battery powered mower. It does a pretty sweet job, but let's have a crack at the petrol one.
There you go, kids. I think this grass is looking pretty good. What do you think? But I think we need to do something else. These edges need to be done, don't they? Let's go and get that whipper snipper and do those edges. Come on. Okay, kids, I'm gonna come and grab my whipper snipper over here. This one is battery operated. So this battery just slides in and out. Down here, we have the blades. We wanna make sure we keep our fingers and hands and everything well and truly clear of those while it's running. To get it started, all you need to do is press this and then pull up on the handle. Now we wanna make sure, just like with the lawnmower, that we've got our safety gear on. Protect our eyes, protect our ears, and protect our hands. And now, we can start cutting. There you go kids, that's hot and sweaty work. Good thing I've got my sweatband. So we've done the lawns, we've done those edges, they're looking nice and neat, but we've made an almighty mess, haven't we? There's grass clippings and there's leaves everywhere. Now what are we gonna use to clean up these leaves? A leaf blower. So let's go and grab that and get all this cleaned up, come on. Okay kids, I've got my trusty leaf blower here. This one is also battery powered and it's the same battery that the whippersnipper used. So we can just take that, pop it in there. This is good to go. This one's pretty simple. All you do is press that button and off she goes. But let's protect our ears, shall we? So we'll put our ear muffs back on and we'll protect our eyes at the same time with our glasses. We're good to go.
So there you go, kids. That's the leaf blower. Things are looking pretty clean around here. The leaf blowing is one of my favorite things to do. It was always my favorite when I was a kid because it's really easy to do and you can't really get it wrong. It's very, very safe. So if you want to try one of these things at home with your grown up, leaf blower is the way to go. And you know the best thing about it? It means you're almost finished. Now there is one more piece of equipment that I had over there. And that was, do you remember? It was a hedge trimmer, wasn't it? There's a mighty big hedge over there and needs a lot of trimming. So come on, come and help me with the hedge trimming. Let's go. All right, kids. The next thing up is our hedge trimmer or our hedger. Now this guy uses the same battery as the whippersnipper and the blower. Pretty handy, hey? Just pop that on there. That's good to go. Now this is a very important part of this hedge trimmer. That's because it protects you from cutting yourself on the blades. This is a tool that should only be used by grown-ups. Now the safety feature is this little button here, or this big button here. You grab that and then you press these two buttons. And just like that, these things go back and forth really, really fast and that's what chops through the hedges. So, safety first, of course. We're gonna put our ear protection and our eye protection on and also protect our hands. And then, we can start trimming this hedge. There you go kids, I reckon this hedge is looking pretty good and I reckon this whole yard is looking pretty amazing. Thanks so much for your help, thanks for joining me today. Remember when you're helping out in the yard with grown ups, maybe start with just your toys or even the blower, that's a really good one to start when you're a little kid. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt lots and I hope that you've had lots of fun in the yard just like I have. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen, I've got some leaves to rake up. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend.